YouTube, Facebook. Today I want you to talk about the idea of respecting the journey of the process to righteousness. <clears throat> and is respecting the journey of the process of the journey of the process to righteousness. And I want to start in Romans, you know, 10th chapter and in the ninth verse to the 10th verse. And it's that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus shall believe in thine heart the God hath raised him up from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart to men be believed unto righteousness, and with the mouth of confession is made unto salvation. Now what you got to understand is two important words that you need to recognize here. It's called believe unto. Believe unto righteousness. And more likely that is unto is saying that this is a journey. You know what I'm saying? You're starting at, at a journey. Now I want to use this, you know, movie. One of my favorite movies is uh, The Wizard of Oz. You know, that Dorothy, you know, came into a land, you know, called Oz. You know, y'all know the story. You know, she got the, her tornado blew her to land called Oz. And, you know, the thing is, you know, Dorothy, you know, was, you know, wanted, she was in the land, she didn't know where she was at, and, of course, the Munchkins told her to follow the yellow brick road to see the Wizard of Oz, you know, and to Dorothy, to the Wizard of Oz, you know, to go, it's a journey, you know, and it, she started off to the yellow brick road. Now, the problem is the Christians like Dorothy, or the new babes in Christ are like Dorothy. They're in a place that they're not familiar of. You, you know, let's say the Wizard of Oz is righteousness, and, they're, and Dorothy's at a place of wickedness. You know what I'm saying? The place. And the thing is, you're used to being in this place, you know, but the thing is, you have to go to righteousness, like the scripture says, unto righteousness. And you have, must believe that you can make it to righteousness. Now, the thing is, Dorothy, you know, following Yellow Brick Road, and of course, you know, you know the story, he met, she met a scarecrow, met a tin man, met a lion, you know. And the thing is, those, you know, people, you know, that was with her, you know, something was missing of them, you know. And... The thing is, they're, they're missing something. One missing a brain, one missing a heart, one missing courage. And the thing is, you know, Dorothy, you know, met these people in their journey. And like in our life, that we're going to meet, it's important for us to, you know, find Christians, you know, in our life that are, of course, they're, you know, missing something. You know, they're missing, you know, Jesus, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, the Spirit of God to come inside of them and to, you know, become true you know, Christians. And we need the people to be beside us to help us encourage us to our destination to, you know, the, to see the wizard, you know, to see righteousness, you know. And we need to realize that God will supply, you know, whatever we need to get to, you know, righteousness. And the thing is, we need to understand that, the you know, as like Dorothy you know, the, it was difficult that the wicked witch, Satan, don't want, you know, you to get to the, you know, wizard of Oz. So he's going to send all kind of, you know, those, you know, those, you know, monkeys, blind monkeys and whatever, you know, the Satan is going to do to stop you from fulfilling your purpose and becoming the righteousness of God. And we need to understand that, you know, that difficulty is going to happen in this road. But just as what David says, you know, yea, do I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I shall feel no evil. But why you're not going to fear no evil? Because thou art with me. Because God is with me. God is with me that's going to protect me and he's going to help me through the journey, you know. Mm -hmm. By faith, you know, 
that you know you believe that you know you're going to make it to the wizard you know of us you know the place of righteousness but the road if you know the mu the movie saw the movie it's going to be difficult you're going to go through obstacles things are going to you're going to go the wrong path that happened in the movie they went to the wrong path they went and then went back to the you know the yellow brick road to to the path you know that you're going to make it to where God is going to take you as long as you you know do what Jesus says you Matthew 4 4 you know man should not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God you follow the mouth of God to direct your path you know or what Jesus or what David says you know you know you know the lamp you know the the lamp the light of the lamp underneath my path you know what I'm saying that will guide me to where I'm going you know when we trust in all these sources that God will provide for us we will do it now understand that you know here's now Dorothy motivation of trying to find the uh wizard of Oz is to go home now understand our reason to seek out the righteousness is really that idea to go home more likely or become who we supposed to be you know in the image and the likeness of God what God has created us since the beginning that's our you know our goal as create creation you know that's a creation goal that we need to understand that it is a creation goal that it's necessary that we must get righteousness inside us so that we can re become the image and the re likeness of the righteous God that created us so that is our driven should be our driven purpose to get here you know and that you know that is necessary that we must make it here and of course they're going to be you know satan is going to throw everything but the kitchen and the kitchen sink you know at us to and through temptation through all of the sinful nature that is inside of us you know we have sins you know that we got you know generation curses that you know we inherit and satan understands that and he's going to use it to tempt us to not go to this destination called righteousness but we must understand that you know Jesus Christ conquered satan you know in the wilderness you know you know and the thing is that through Jesus Christ Philip 4:13 it's going to be done and it's going to prosper and we will make it to that destination that we need to be at to fulfill a purpose but understand to respect the journey that it will be difficult you know that you will face hostility you know it's going to be difficult and you know the thing is you know i rather you know go through difficulty in being who i am than go through the easy route of being what i'm not but guess what you know i pray that you come to that place you know what i'm saying of realizing that reality that you know who you are is the greatest treasure you know to your life in fulfilling your purpose you know then being whatever this world will tell you that lie to you that you are then you know staying there you know i hope that becomes a treasure from you to you that you be like Indiana Jones and go through risk and boulders whatever risk and people you know danger you have to go to in fulfilling your purpose to be and created in the image and the likeness of God. So I hope you understand this teaching and that you know you develop a desire to be what God created you to be and not settling for what you know this world is trying to make you believe you are. But I hope you understand that. To God be the glory to him forever and ever in Jesus name. Amen.